We're getting you outside of a building, I promise you. Or you're going under it. <laughs> We're going through the tunnels. <laughs> tunnels dug underneath the ER. <laughs> hmm. What's angry, angry about now? I thought he had... He's just angry. <laughs> so, so angry. <clears throat> I thought there was a second one. Oh, no. We did Ghostbusters. Yeah. That's... Okay. Ghostbusters. Yeah, we got part two. There you go. Mm-hmm. You did a part three? Okay. Why not? Episode 22. So, you know this is from the early days. How early? Early 2007. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> yep, 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 yep. I love this theme song. Ghostbusters on Nintendo sucks ass. Woo! But if you've seen my review of it, you already know that. It's terrible. So why am I reviewing it again? Because it's such an inhumane pile of shit that it deserves it. Well, this time I'm over the shock of how fucking horrible this game is, so I'm going to be a little more constructive. Here are five things that should have been improved. Okay. Number one is going to be a spell check. Let's play teacher and grade this piece of shit. Since it's really Uh, short, let's say 10 points off for every error out of a possible 100. So, okay, you ready? Here we go. Well, first of all, congratulations spelled wrong, but it's not even a simple typo. Two letters in two different places are wrong, which (laughs) probably means they really didn't know how to spell it. So that's 20 points off for that, just Aww. because it's such an atrocious misspelling. But then why isn't it plural? You don't usually say congratulation, you say congratulations. So technically that's nothing to do with the spelling, it's a different error altogether. So that's another 10 points for that. <laughs> then, you've completed a great game? Well that's just simply wrong. It's a lie. That <laughs> Even if it was a great game, it shouldn't have to announce it. So then you have a punctuation error, because the next sentence begins with N. Then you got an extra O in proved. Mm-hmm. <laughs> proved what? Proved the justice of our culture? What? So it's saying that you proved that our culture has justice? Yeah. I don't know. Now, go and rest our heroes. Instead of comma now, after go rest. and rest, comma, our heroes, it's telling you to go rest our heroes. <laughs> yeah. Go to bed, Jake. Well, sorry to say, but we had to take off 90 points. But hey, the score of 10%. And they didn't put their name at the top. There's the other ten. But yeah, that's right. <laughs> but wait, is there any reason that there's one exclamation mark here and then there's three up there? That's another ten points off for lack of consistency with the okay. total zero. <laughs> as long as the end justified the means, it's fine. You had the patience to sit through this awful game. You proved your nerdiness. Now go fuck yourself. <laughs> Now, no one else will. Two, the second thing in this game. Oh, <laughs> damn! Characters. So is he just doing the first one all over again? Yep. Ghostbusters. Yeah. It could at least acknowledge Egun, Ray, Peter, Winston. Egun. Even the first Ninja Turtles game on yes. Nintendo had all four <laughs> turtles. There's supposed to be four Ghostbusters as well, but try counting them in the game. There's two who fight the ghosts, three who enter the Zool building, two who fight Gozer three who enter the headquarters. Now look closely at the Ghostbusters. Notice they're all white, which obviously means there's no Winston. Ernie Hudson, maybe you're glad that you got left out of this crappy game. <laughs> so, racist. Done the racist. <laughs> racism. <laughs> so, in the original story that Ray, Ray Charles, yes. Jesus Christ, Eddie Murphy was supposed to be the fourth Ghostbuster right. and have an equal part in the movie with the other four. Yes. Mm-hmm. But he dropped out because of Beverly Hills Cop, mm-hmm. and they just redid the story. We pushed and, into the background, and then, then there was always going to be a fourth Ghostbuster, but they just kind of like, well, hmm. and they cropped him out of the, like the home release, like in the wide shot where they're fighting Gozer. Right. It's just those three. He's cropped out. <laughs> We're not trying to pay you anything. So number three is going to be better graphics. All right. Hang on. Well. This game is just. Part three. We're talking about eight bit though. Stop right? it. Huh? It says eight bit. Yeah. Better graphics. Better graphics. Yeah, yeah for put real. Put it on a Super Nintendo. Ta-da, maybe it'll work. <laughs> nah. Cause Dan likes the theme song, we'll let it play. Well on that. He's gonna take 
<laughs> Karate Kid. <laughs> Wayne's World. <laughs> Roger Rabbit. Ugh. Nerd. Did you get a chill from your nerdiness? Yes. Nerd. <laughs> Ghostbusters 2 on Nintendo. Just as crappy. Well, here it is. <laughs> the game starts out with this little intro. You didn't blow in a cartridge first. And both times, he does the Elvis lift. So the first level's under the subway. I am Vigo from Carpathia. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Wow. The game actually has levels with a simple goal. And they suck. The you don't have the Neutrona one. You just... What I'm fucking talking about. Ghostbusters should be nothing more complicated than just running around zapping ghosts. Woo! So it's a huge, huge improvement over the first game. Huge. Huge. But that's not saying much. It still sucks monkey fucking pukes diarrhea up your fucking asshole. I don't know what he really <laughs> interesting because the movie Ghostbusters 2 is definitely inferior to the first one. So, I guess the formula works like this. A good it's the same movie, movie equals a shitty fucking game. But, a not so good movie equals a game that's not as shitty. This time, the Ghostbusters only shoot. So, a they're sword. hoping they with enough movies going forward, forward, they will hit that the controls could have been a certain point. The way you mm -hmm. move the where they're both good. <laughs> it stays wherever you point it. It takes a moment to aim it elsewhere rather than just being instantaneous. Then you want to kill. This is a hard one to explain, oh. but just play it for a while. I thought one to kill. Contra, yeah. And you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Yes. It's also stupid that A shoots slime and B jumps. Usually it's the other way around. As for start and select, they don't do donkey dick. Really? Usually start is <laughs> yeah, paused, you can't pause. But here, there's no fucking way to pause the damn game. I mean, if you gotta go answer the phone or take a shit. It's like tough shit if you gotta take a shit. You know I what you do? Where you murders. take. I'm trying to play the game. I got shit stains in my pants. <laughs> that. <laughs> no, you take that cord. You stretch that bitch as far as it'll go, and you got errors. <laughs> Sorry, I'm playing Ghostbusters 2 on Nintendo. What a selfish game. Bottom line, have a fucking pause button. God Always. Damn it. No, not the actual the one. Definitely has its variety. Yeah. <laughs> Car jumps. Have you ever played this? No. Oh. Well, as long as I don't have pitchforks and flames, I think we're right. good. I killed all the plantsmen on the way over here. It's mangled into a bloody mess. No, it's red slime. Level three is the courthouse. Oh, wait, is that Kool Aid? Give me the Kool Aid. Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck. Level four, you're driving again. Like before, no, this... the poles you gotta jump over. But you gotta make sure that you drive over the arrows because they're the speed boosters. Mm -hmm. Oh, get out of my way! <laughs> Fucking ghost. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Oh, there's another. Oh, come on! <laughs> what? You, you gotta got double jump. Bad? Take a look at the demo in the beginning of the game. It doesn't even try, it just crashes into everything. The only reason it even gets by is because after you hit something, you're immune to damage for a brief moment <laughs> to pass through. Really, why is oh, what is that called? So much trouble playing with itself. It doesn't know it can move up and down or jump. The game sucks at itself more so than any human being, regardless of age or experience, could possibly suck at the game. The irony just baffles me. Logos. So anyway, level five is the abandoned subway. It seems like somebody's off screen to the left, just constantly throwing junk in your way. I mean, what is all this shit? Fuck. Look like a pogo so stick. Six, the <laughs> Goose. Remember the scene in the movie where the Ghostbusters use the NES Advantage to control the Statue of Liberty? Nope. Well, I'm playing it with the NES Advantage right now. And Give me no weird, advantage. Don't you think in the movie, one of the most famous icons of the United States being controlled by a Nintendo controller. Nintendo ruled the fucking world. They did. And see what they did here? They created levels yeah, like of the game based off scenes in the movie. That's <laughs> what I was talking about before. 
I don't know what these things are that you're supposed to be shooting at, though. Birds? I guess they're ghosts, but they're shaped like fish. <laughs> they're the happiest, most energetic ghosts I've ever seen doing <laughs> choreographed dances in the sky. So now we're in the city, so I guess it's level 7. And we're fighting bungee Damage boost? Skeletons, I think. You know the old school games where you get hit and you start flashing and nothing can hurt you for yeah. like a few seconds? Yeah. And this is yep. the final level of the game. And by now, it's all starting to look the same. Yeah. Really because the whole driving part was based like on the, um, the, only thing different is the, the motocross game. game. Mm -hmm. yeah, Where the motorcycle... The, <laughs> the, the courthouse, the abandoned subway, and finally the museum. Mm -hmm. But you're doing the same exact thing. Yeah, the museum! To the end of the level, <laughs> shooting ghosts overhead and dodging things that go up and down bounce across the screen, sweep across the ground. You mean like most down. Nintendo games? Yes. <laughs> That's just insane. I've never made it that far. Fuck. I think the second driving it stage is where I got ass. there. That's it. It pisses me off. Yeah. Well, like they say, it's better to be pissed off than to be pissed on. So... That's yeah, Shawn Michaels and Vince McMahon. That's right. They actually have all four <laughs> Ghostbusters. So when you get to the end... You watch them shoot slime all over Vigo. And oh that's my. I, yeah, I can't. I have to blur that. <laughs> so, to save time on developing. That's not what the final painting looks like. Instead, they just make you go through the last level four times. They should have just sprayed acetone. <laughs> the painting just drips down. <laughs> Done. That, it's dog shit. That's what it reminds me of. This game <laughs> reminds me of dog shit. Thanks, bud. <laughs> Can Sega do better again? Have you played this one? <laughs> I have not. No. <laughs> this. I'm not... Uh, it, it's a tie. It's a tie? Between this one and I think the next one he talks about. But the next one he talks about, I didn't know about until I was an adult. This one, I had. And it's far superior. Well, let's find out. It doesn't have the yeah, beam, but Sega still. Genesis, also called the Mega Drive. Mega Drive. In 16-bit territory now. Yet this game was released about the same time as Ghostbusters 2 on Nintendo. Mm -hmm. Rather than making their own game of Ghostbusters 2, Sega made something completely original. Ooh. Well, there's only three Ghostbusters again. I mean, what's their problem racist. with Winston? What are they fucking racist or something? Well, whatever the case, you get to pick your Ghostbuster. They got big heads and, and they, they get sad when you don't pick them. Down their pants. You got dialogue scenes and not one but two stores, an mm. item shop and a weapon shop. Again, Doc Brown. <laughs> Ghostbusters. <laughs> Great Scott. Then you got the Marty. <laughs> God, it serves the only purpose that it should: selecting which order you want to play the stages in. So you can go into the little house, the apartment, the big yeah, house, and then there's like the high-rise building. And that one's on fire. It got go on castle. fire, the and you have to have in the sense that you don't just run through like from beginning to end. Goggles. You can, yes. you can climb ladders, swim, and explore. You can swim. Okay. Yeah. And defeated all the boss ghosts, which there's several of. And when you defeated them, you get the oh, I forgot the beam. You can swim. True ghost busting fashion. You got it. After you cleared the stage, you get money, and then you leave. So that's the concept, which is enough to keep you entertained. The control's Woo. great. Walking and jumping yeah. is perfectly responsive. You can easily shoot in any direction. You can crawl. It's Some so enemies take too many hits. The sounds and music are original, mm -hmm. and the caricature look, I find kind of amusing, actually. Aww. This is what you call a game. I like this. I like this? I can't believe what I'm saying. I think the world is coming to an end. Yep. Cats Seriously, and dogs. Fire and brimstone yep. coming down from the skies. Rivers and I'm seas not so water. angry. <laughs> Forty years of darkness, earthquakes, volcanoes, the dead rising from the graves, human sacrifice, dogs and cats living together, mass hysteria. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll find something about it that sucks. Like those tablecloths that wrap you up? You can't even do anything but wait. They don't even do any damage, so what's the point? Yours don't do that at Thanksgiving? Get on? <laughs> you might as well just have somebody come in and take the controller from me for about five seconds. There's Give also an overabundance of weapons and items, which out of all of them, only one is really mandatory. The night goggles. That's Without it. them, there's no way you can get through the fire level, because you can't see shit. Look at this. I can't tell where I'm going. And the goggles are out of juice, so if you're far along in the level, and they start to dim... You're fucked. You gotta kill yourself. And, and if you want to re up the goggles before they're completely out, hmm. it 
doesn't go it doesn't go back to fully illuminating it only extends the limit of what you've already had so you have to wait for the goggles to go completely out and then click on the goggles again mm -hmm. yeah and they're a hundred bucks a pop <laughs> Back to the store to buy more dogs. Not real money. Start the level all over again. What a shitload of fuck. I also hate these fire towers. Yeah, you it's can't. Like, no matter how well you estimate the jump, you either end up getting burnt because you jump too short, or accidentally touch the fire trying to get as close as possible and jump. And also, you have to make sure that you time your jump right. This Ghostbusters on fire. <laughs> That's right. Try to think about it. A flaming guinea pig comes out. <laughs> a flaming guinea yeah, pig. Flaming guinea pigs are pretty weird. But you know what's also weird? When you die, you turn into a mummy. Yeah. That I can't understand. <laughs> then you got these disappearing green things to jump on. Vines? Hedges? Guess Not what edges. the toughest enemies in the game are? Cough the vines. Vines. Yeah. <laughs> they they take a million hits. One hit. Yeah. But no, they take forever to break. I don't get it. Lots of the enemies are just annihilated after just one hit. But not those. Nope. Don't fuck with the coffee cups. Nope. The boss battles are cool. Although sometimes really random, like this blue guy that comes apart. Come on, die! Alright. Oh, he's still got a head! Yay! You got the crystal monkey man, the evil snowman, the fire dragon, the flame guy, the, the flame guy, from the, the wall, girl, the woman yeah. who multiplies to three, you gotta shoot the real one. Then there's the Grim Reaper who looks like Dracula from Castlevania 2. Then there's the plant which reminds me a little shot Seymour. of ours. Which is an interesting <laughs> Feed me, Seymour. Ran has starred in a remake, and he was Lewis in Ghostbusters. Mm -hmm. Then you got Stay Puff who relentlessly attacks you during the stage. Then at the end, you finally get to punish him for all the shit he put you through. Yeah. Die, die, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Yeah, he's dead as shit. No, he's not. It's a of terrible Ghostbusters games. This one stands out, and it's still fun to play. If you could somehow get your hands on it, I'd check it out. Woo! So this concludes my three-part review of all the Ghostbusters games that I can get my hands on. Is it oh. kind of ironic that I end on one that's actually kind of decent? Yes, yes. I don't know. I mean, is it any more ironic that the same guy who did the voice for Garfield did the voice for Peter Bankman in the Ghostbusters car? And then... Well, Bill Murray was the live-action Peter Bankman, and he also did the voice of Garfield in the movie. It's <laughs> a <laughs> circle of life. Ghostbusters yeah, 3. Right. Is uh, it really going to happen? Should it happen? Wow. Well, if they made the Santa Claus 3, <clears throat> Free Willy 3, Home Alone 3, Psycho 3, The Never Ending Story 3. There's a Never Ending Story 3. three Star Trek 3. There's mm -hmm. a Never Ending Story 3? Is there? Because there is. I've, I've, I've seen one and two. Well, Brad, it's The Never Ending Story. <laughs> oh, oh. Yeah. Problem Child 3? Psycho 3. Never Ending Story 3, Problem Child 3, and about 10,000 scary movie and American <laughs> Pie sequels. All the crap that gets shat out of Hollywood's big fat fucking ass. I don't see why Ghostbusters 3 should get made. I grew up with those movies. I would love to see those guys put on the proton packs one more time. No. Even if the whole movie is just the Ghostbusters sitting around taking a shit, I'd go see it. <laughs> now, excuse me. I gotta take out the garbage. Hey! Oh boy, I had that too. Yep, it, eventually, yeah, it wouldn't work. <laughs> yep. They should have used a, uh, a bladder. Is that that'd be the air? Mm -hmm. That we just put it in over? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Iron Luigi? Yes. Oh, I didn't know he had that power up. <laughs>